kind of set a tone with, with that second play, that the, the pick six, and he said that you guys on, on defense as a whole really wanted to do that. Did you did you talk about that before the scrimmage? And he said that the last couple of days weren't as sharp as they might have needed to be. Yeah, today still wasn't either. I mean, we made a couple of big plays, but we're we're behind where we need to be, and and we got to be a hell of a lot more consistent, you know. But anytime you create turnovers and you know take the ball away, and is that. Uh, you know, that that's really I mean, without a doubt that that helps. I'm pleased with that part. How happy are you with the defense overall play today? Compared well, to last I, I just don't think we're where we need to be. I think we're behind and and uh, but the good thing is we got ten days to try to get figured out. See you see where you're behind. What area of the game are you maybe lacking in? Let's see, pass rush, coverage, uh, stopping the run, contain on the quarterback. Blah, blah, blah. A lot of work to do in 10 days. Lamont McDougall had that uh, nice push on the, the QB sneak on the one yard line. Do you think he's going to help you guys out when you guys get into red zone? I know red zone, you know, defense is, is an emphasis yep. for you. Yep. And we, of all things, I will say we've played better in the red zone. I mean, that's one place we emphasize that we've done a good job with that. But, uh, but yeah. Yep. Yep. Lamont, uh, you know, he hadn't played a year, though. So, I mean, it's going to take a couple games to. To really get him in the in, in into a rhythm of what he's used to doing, but yeah, without doubt he'll be a help. What, what do you think of the, the corner spot? With uh, Armani's been playing a lot this week, and before yeah. it was Derek, and those two kind of seem back and forth. Are you guys comfortable with Armani right now? Yeah, that's a sign of confusion. <laughs> All right, so I say we got ten days to figure it out. So, and we'll see what happens. But uh, it's it's a close. We're we're grading it every day, and and. Uh, um, that's the one thing about it, you know, we're, we're just, you know, I'm a little frustrated because we're experimenting here a little bit too late. I'd rather not be experimenting now, but uh, it is what it is, and and, uh, and we got 10 days to get it cleared up. What do you say experimenting? Just different guys on the line? Well, I think a good coach, in my opinion, is that a good coach does what his players can do best. And right now I'm a little confused because some of those guys, I'm not sure what they do best. You know what I'm saying? And so. Uh, uh, but I wouldn't have anything to do, or we wouldn't have anything to do if it was figured out. So we got 10 days to figure it out, and, and uh, I think the most successful coaches is on game day is they put their players in a position to be successful. And, and, and like I say, to me, that's putting them in a position to do what they do best, and, and I, I need to get that figured out. A few more cameras around practice. Uh, what are your thoughts on this whole HBO wall access show? Yeah, I'm glad I'm not the head coach. That's my thought on it. Is it maybe easy to ignore it because the cameras are usually around Coach Leach most of the time? It is, but you know, when I was in Minneapolis, there'd be 20 cameras, you know, and and so uh, you know, you get used to it. We got a job to do, and it really doesn't bother me at all. You know, I think that uh, that the publicity and and uh, that is priceless. You know, for when it's on TV and that the university gets. So it's it, it's a great it's a great thing, and uh, uh, just you know, I was fortunate enough being in the city that. For a little while, you know, you just kind of get used to uh, having those people around. You know, we opened up every practice uh, uh, before this before the season started, and then uh, when the season got started, I think every first 20 or 30 minutes we always had it open. So, you know, kids get used to it. And, but the bottom line, it's it, it's a great opportunity for the school and the team. What's the one thing players, fans, um, whoever might be that's watching the show might learn about Washington State that we don't normally see? Boy, is that uh, I still don't think you know, it'll give enough to, to show that, and and that's how amount of time that uh, that the kids put into between playing the game, going to class, tutoring, the uh, community events, and things they ask them to do. Tell you what, you know, training room, weight room, is that uh, they earn every bit of their scholarship, and and uh, so um, you know. Uh, you know, so that's the one thing I wish that, you know, they're around more as far as that goes is they always follow a coach around for a day, you know. They need to follow a player around for a day and, and see what all those guys do to to be able to play for the university. Did it help to have officials out there today, for especially for the DBs, if there were a number of PI calls that you guys aren't, don't yeah. usually call during practice? Yeah. Is it, you know, say, we, when we grade film, we go and, and check them out, you know. So, yeah, yeah. Add another thing to the list, he asked me. Pass interference, we got to work on that too, all right?